Hello, dear viewers. Ed Sheeran was almost killed by Kevin McHale at Sophia Bush's home. Without wasting time, please take a second to hit the subscribe button and flip on notification bell for greater updates and watch this video till the end. Kevin McHale jokes he almost killed Ed Sheeran at Sophia Bush's house. Kevin McHale had to make a confession for the fact that he had almost fatally injured Ed Sheeran during one of the parties organized at the residence of Sophia Bush. I have a confession to make, the Glee alum revealed to Bush, 42, on the Thursday, August. 22, episode of his Work in Progress podcast. You hosted one of your parties and I brought my brother, who had never done it. Bush made it clear that the meeting was one of his living room parties, which was supposed to be small, but it grew over the years and attracted more and more people. Ed Sheeran was at your house, McHale continued. And I said, that's new. I remember walking and thinking, he's so famous. We were on the top balcony and I thought my brother had put his beer on the railing, then he turned and hit it and landed where Ed Sheeran had been, just twenty seconds ago, he added. McHale also revealed that he had long held his brother responsible for the near-horrific incident, until one day he realized it was actually his fault. I accused my brother, he told Bush. I said to myself, I brought my brother into your house once and he almost killed the greatest artist in the world. But I realized it was me. He stupidly put the beer on the ramp, so that's it. But then I turned and I hit it and it fell to the bottom and splashed. He continued, I just remember looking because I looked right before and Ed Sheeran was there. And then you ran and looked and I said, oh my god, I'm so sorry. In the middle of your party, I almost killed Ed Sheeran. Mikhail happily jumped at the chance. Mikhail jumped at the chance when Bush asked if he wanted to apologize to the perfect singer. I'm sorry Ed Sheeran for almost killing him, he said. We have never met. I almost hurt him badly. I don't even think he realized how close he came to getting his head smashed in by a beer bottle from a second story. When I write vocal melodies, it's like phonetics, Sheeran said. He then grabbed a guitar from behind the witness stand, played the song's chord progression and sang the opening words, when your legs don't work like they used to. Sheeran told the court that he prefers to work quickly, with most of his songs written in a day or even minutes. He said he wrote up to eight or nine songs in a single day in the past. Thinking Out Loud was number one in the UK and number two in the US, and won a Grammy Award for Song of the Year in 2016. Townsend's lawyers earlier this week showed a video of Sharon seamlessly transitioning from Thinking Out Loud to Let's Get It On, in a live performance they said was an admission he had copied the song. In court, Sharon responded, Most pop songs can be put on most pop songs. If I did what you're accusing me of, I'd be a complete idiot to stand on a stage in front of to 20,000 people and to do that. The trial was interrupted Wednesday when one of the plaintiffs, Townsend's daughter, Catherine Griffin Townsend, collapsed and had to be carried out of the courtroom. Griffin Townsend barely forgot when Sharon's team began questioning a musicologist who had been called to testify that there was a substantial similarity between the two songs. Griffin Townsend had previously taken the witness stand, saying she intended to protect my father's legacy, but added that she had entered the case reluctantly and described Sharon as a great artist with a great future. Please inform us in the comments. Please do no longer forget about to subscribe and flip on the notification bell to see our day updates.